all right so here we go we're going to do an update video as you can see got this right here all prepped all ready to go everything sanded good good to go like it is so we got that we got our other baffle right here for the front it's good to go so what we've we been doing so far let me show you what we got so we'll start off with the back it's drizzling right now so let's see let me try and make this quick so this is what we got in the back it's still a mess but we got the back part actually finished now as you can see we got the back part on got it pretty secure as high as it can go without hitting the glass or any of the panels in the way we got a three layer thick back right here three layers thick of birch wood right there try to come to the side a little bit so you can see and then so no rain gets on the camera so we got three layers thick somewhat smooth i'm gonna come back around and sand it to get perfectly level we also added two bars to the top of the roof so it's perfectly solid nothing's flexing strong as can be strong as a house also we cut it we cut it out right here a little bit so we can get to our spare tire also don't worry about how it's only one layer all the way down there that's the box isn't even the box is probably like starts starts right here so that one layer is not going to really matter so it's, it's two layers up until like it's three layers all the way but you get the point it's this little spot right here where it's not three layers but we'll be fine because we're fiberglassing the whole inside and that is drying right now and i'm gonna show you what we're doing so back's done tops braced and done now i'm gonna show you inside as best i can for as long as i can because the fumes are terrible so here's what we got going on the inside we're fiberglass resin the whole inside we're just starting it um i ran out of fiberglass resin so i'm just gonna let this part dry for now and then we're gonna start the rest um you might not be able to see it but you can see this piece of fiberglass still in there it's wet so you kind of can't see it well on camera but it's there so we're fiberglassing put fiberglass on all the corners just in case it's glued it's strong it's perfect but a little reinforcement never hurts especially when dealing with this much power and spl so that's what we got we got fiberglass right there on this corner all the way up in the back corner as well all around so we got that part done um, we resined all the sides as best we could so we ran out of resin as you can tell right here we still got the top part right the side part right here right here and then the roof we'll get to that soon and with next day or so but the back's resined fiberglass around the sides we're gonna also resin these little corners i'm not sure if you can see them too well i resin these corners make sure there's no air leaking at all in this whole build also make sure it's perfectly strong and secure and we're not having any problems along like i want to build this wall and then not having to fix it later so fiberglass and everything don't care what anyone else says it's gonna get fiberglassed and then we'll come back and like fill in the corners a little bit with some body filler just to make it perfectly smooth so we have perfectly smooth edges everywhere so that's what we got so far as the wall goes um we still need to clean up these trim panels a little bit because they're not they're just kind of in here i just fitted them in here once that's one thing we're gonna do after we finish the insides and stuff like that so we're almost done with that all right youtube one last thing also i'm gonna show you what the fedex guy bring and we're also we're coming in my shed right now wakeboard old amp rack false floor i'm gonna try and get both of these amp false this amp rack and this false floor to reuse in the new build so we're gonna see how that works but don't worry about that for now and well let's see i'll show you what the fedex guy got brought and boy he had a hard time bringing all these to the door um as you can see it's a bunch of boxes i already opened one of them but we opened one and i'm sure you can tell what these are they're pretty small and yeah so we're gonna i'm gonna open up all the way and show you basically what it is so open it up piece of wood in here for protection like it so we got this plastic and like all psi subs we got this full noodle thing and look, look at that so we got 
PSI subs. <laughs> That's right. In the new build, we're going to be running PSI Platform 4 12s. Six of them. They're the high-performance ones. So these things are going to get nasty. And we're going to have a great time with these. I'm going to unbox Give me one second. I'm going to take it out fully out the box. And you can see because this thing has a magnet on it. So that's what you can see so far with the um big dust cap. Very stiff surround. All right, YouTube. I got the new sub out the box. Now you can see my old 18s are right here. Which, by the way, if you're local... You want to buy a pair of 18s, PSI Platform 3s, high performance with every upgrade you can want on these. Shoot me a direct message on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, one of those. And if you want them, I'll quote you on a price for them because I don't want them. I'm trying to get rid of them. So if you also want them and you're out of Louisiana area and you want to pay for shipping, go ahead. I'll give you a deal on buying them because i don't want them i'm just trying to get rid of them at the moment but let's get back to what we really came here for so here is the psi platform 4 12 as you can see the giant surround big fat surround big dust cap very stiff suspension i can't even push this thing down really but this is one thing that separates the platform fours from the platform threes and everyone's below it you can see they got a big triple stack magnet right here and open it's open right here so you can see the voice coils right there I'm not sure how well you can see on camera but as you see the voice coils right here so on the platform threes on the previous head i'll show you right here kind of close up you can't see the voice coil anywhere so cooling is it's good however it's not the best so you can you can't really demo these on the power I'm demoing them on for a long time, which is why I want to do 12s and the platform 4s, because you can see it's open, better cooling to the voice coil. As you can see right there, the spider is pretty, really thick. That, that spider is crazy thick. There's, I'm not sure how many layer spires these are, but these things are crazy thick. But they got some spiders up here and then some below also. So we got the, the upgraded spider pack. We decided to go with terminals this time. Nice beefy. Nice beefy 4 gauge terminals. That's going to come in real handy. You see the little PSI logo on the terminal thing as well. And that's basically it. These, these things are crazy heavy. I haven't weighed them yet, but I think the shipping weight was like 80, 85 pounds or something like that. I'm not sure exactly. Don't quote me. But these things are crazy heavy. And this is what the subs I'm going to be running in the new build are going to look like. So, I'm going to have three of these inverted. Three of these mounted normally. And we're going to try to make this next build crazy windy, crazy loud, and sound really good as well. And I'll just give you a quick look at the sub. This Their new style basket for the fours and the fives kind of looks similar to this. I do really like how they have the open air coil, so if something does happen to the voice coil, you can see a lot better. You can also tell if it's getting too hot easier, because then you'll be able to tell. But overall, these subs are beefy, crazy heavy, crazy big. The magnets are ridiculous on them. The magnets on the Platform 3s, I'll show you right now. Let's see. Platform 3, the 18s right here. This is the magnet on the 18s. Yes, the magnet is pretty big too, but it's a double stack. It's a double stack magnet and it's closed off with the voice coil. So here's what we got. And this is just a quick unboxing of PSI Platform 4s. So stay tuned.